What's up, folks? It's Matt here with Tanks Lawn Maintenance. It's currently 9 p.m. Friday evening, 5, which May 19th, 2023, the year of our Lord. I'm out here in the shop. <clears throat> Just got done rinsing off both the mowers today. A few minutes ago, man, these yards are disgusting. I ain't lying. But, uh, got a chance to use the uh, standard today, the new mower. Used it quite a few times today, actually, and believe it or not, I got it stuck today. <laughs> Thank God for two mowers. I had to hook the strap up to my zero turn and pull it out. But uh, yards are just disgusting, just gross today, man. Nothing you can do about it, man. It's been raining two and a half, three days nonstop. But I had some yards that had to get skipped last weekend, and uh, I, I just can't skip them two weekends in a row, man. It, these yards haven't been treated for anything, and uh, it just looks terrible, man. So if I'd have let it go anymore, I'd have had to go rent a bush hog to trim them. But anyway, let me get y'all turned around real quick and show y'all this mower. Go over a few things on it with y'all. Let you know my first impressions on it. Just a second. All right. I'll shrink that down a little bit so y'all can see it. There it is right there, guys. The right standard eye, standard intensity, 36 inch deck. It's got the uh, Kawasaki FX600V. I do like that motor. It's a uh, 19 horsepower motor, plenty enough power to do what I need it to do. And uh, I bought this mower mainly to have a backup mower because uh, as most of you know, my mower went down on me the other day and I was resorting had to resort to uh, push mowing all day and that I didn't even get a third of the yards done that I was supposed to get done and uh, I just can't afford to do that so I just had to bite the bullet and pull the trigger man but uh give you a quick walk around of it let y'all look at it I just got done rinsing it off probably about 10 or 15 minutes ago and I blew it off with the uh with the old trusty 9010 right here still got some water on it but uh, it's all good. I hadn't uh, I hadn't scrubbed it or anything. I usually scrub both of my mowers on Sunday afternoon, Sunday fun day, man. But uh, I usually scrub my zero turn on Sunday afternoon. But uh, I guess I'll add this to the mix too. But uh, I'm sure it's gonna get nasty tomorrow, cause we've got plenty of stuff to do tomorrow. But anyway, guys, it's got the uh, Kawasaki FX 600V. I like that motor, so I got plenty enough power to do what I needed to do. I want to say this is a five gallon gas tank. Got the uh, fuel gauge right here on top. It's got your uh, brake lever right here. Of course you got your ignition, your hour meter. Uh, I already put 1.6 hours on it today. Got your uh, uh, PTO uh, switch right here. Got your throttle and your choke. Of course, you got these uh these uh famous right handles. I don't know what to think about these guys. I'll talk about that in a minute. But uh you've got your uh your deck lever right here. You pull this back master button and push it down like so. Locks into place. Pull it all the way back, bring it all the way back up. And uh, you got your uh, deck adjustment height right here, or deck height adjustment pins right here. It goes from one and a half all the way to five inches. All you do is you pull the pin out, put it where you want it to be, turn it down like that, let your uh, deck lever down, and it goes down and stops on that pin right there. But uh, you got your battery box right here. Lift this up, and it stays up. You don't have to prop it or anything like that, or at least I don't. I don't assume you do. Let me uh. Well, my phone won't let me turn the flashlight on. I was gonna turn the flashlight on on my phone for y'all, but uh, I don't see a prop on here. But uh, I haven't really dug into it yet. I'll find out soon. But uh, you got access to both your hydros right there, and all your wires and everything. 
and your uh, hydro belts underneath it down here. Let me shut that back. You got a, a very soft, comfortable platform right there, guys. That, that platform's comfortable. I'm, I'm really surprised in it, honestly. But uh, you got the arrow core deck on there. And no, uh, it's uh, seven gauge steel. But uh, you got your oil fill cap right here. You got your oil filter and your uh, your drain, your oil drain valve right there. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Right there where my fingers at. And uh, they actually give you a hose. Give me just a second. I'll uh, show y'all real quick. This hose right here comes with it. And uh, you just hook that hose on that uh drain plug or that yeah that 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 oil drain plug and run it down to your uh, oil pan and you're good to go but uh of course you got your your breathers right up here your air filters and uh i like the guard for the muffler right here that's something that my uh, zero turn doesn't have that's a step up for me i'm not really sure what to think about this chute right here i mean i kind of like it because it's very flimsy it uh folds up real easy and you know you ain't really got to pull that chute up to go in somebody's backyard unless it's just something with a uh <laughs> you know if you got a 37 or 40 inch gate you know then you ain't got no choice but yeah i mean that's pretty flimsy uh deck chute right there but uh that's probably going to come off sooner or later and uh if you look at the deck right here, it actually has a bracket built in for the grass gobbler. So uh, I will be purchasing one of those because I do have quite a few yards that want front and back uh, more stuff bagged. And uh, I was told that you could put a uh, grass flap on here with the uh, grass gobbler. Now, I don't know that to be true, but I am going to look into it. And if it is true, I'm going to... Uh, I'm gonna look into that because uh probably gonna do it because i need me a grass flap but anyway back to the uh controls over here man you know i use this thing quite a bit today and uh most of you know i'm used to a uh i'm used to a sit down zero turn mower let me get this phone turned around so y'all can see better but i'm used to a sit down zero turn mower you know i mean Release this brake real quick. Hopefully it won't run on me. Yeah. I think we're good. Got to release that brake to mash the uh, levers forward or backward. But uh, this is going to take some getting used to. It's going to take some getting used to. You can't adjust the. Uh, you cannot adjust the space between the uh, levers right here, and uh, so. If I could just keep my hands on the levers like that and just uh, pull it this way or pull it that way, it would be no big deal. But, and I'm sure this is just me fussing because I'm not used to it, but it just seems, it just, I don't know, using it today, man, it was just kind of a pain in the tail having to, uh, having to do all this, you know take your hands off of one to go to the other but i mean it is what it is man i mean it's evidently it evidently works and uh i got a real good buddy of mine and uh he swears by right standards and uh and he told me he said man when i first bought my first right standard it was a standard b and uh he told me you know he said when you uh when i first bought this thing i hated the i hated that it was like me, he was used to a sit-down mower. I think he had a a Toro, was the time cutter or something like that. I don't, I'm not sure what he called it. It's a little, the ones that they sell at the big box stores. But uh, he had one of those, a little zero turn. And uh, then he went out and bought a standard B. And it had the same handles on it, and he just wasn't used to it. And he hated it. But then once he got used to it, he loved it. He still loves it and he still uses i mean you're talking about 10 years ago and he still to this day uses a 
right standards. That's all he uses, and he loves it. But uh, he told me, he said, man, once you get used to it, you'll never want to change or go to anything different. And uh, so I'm optimistic. I mean, overall, I like it. I love it. I mean, it's got plenty of power for what I need it to do. I haven't quite figured out the uh, casters on this thing, why they're staggered like that, why you got one shorter than the other. If any of you know the answer to that, Please comment in the box below and let me know. I can't quite figure out what that is unless it's just for uh, staging purposes to try to even out weight differently on your trailer to kind of stagger them, you know. But uh, other than that, I couldn't, I have no clue what that's for. <laughs> but uh, Ed Wright's got a good product here. I like it. I like it a lot. Of course, you know, this is my first true commercial mower. That uh, Spartan is not, it's, it's, the dealer told me it's like a hybrid, but if you look at it on paper, it says it's a residential mower. But uh, this is my first true commercial mower, and uh, overall, I like it. And uh, like I said, I've only got one and a half hours on it. So uh, we will see, time will tell. But uh, they told me to change the oil after... Uh, 10 or 15 hours to uh, do a, a break-in oil change and then after that change it to, at about 80 or 90 hours and then I can uh, do regular uh, maintenance on it after that and uh, which for me you know I usually I usually change my oil between every 50 and 60 hours I don't I know most folks wait and do it every 100 hours not me I, I change mine every 50 or 60 hours I'm just I've had bad luck with not uh taking good enough care of stuff in the past with vehicles and things so uh i'm not taking any chances man i i kind of overshoot everything when it comes to maintenance so i feel like you can't be uh can't be careful enough but anyway turn y'all back around that's uh that's all i got for the right standard at the moment i'm uh i'm hoping to get my wife on this thing man she uh She's actually scared to use a uh, zero turn mower or anything like that. She's scared she's gonna tear somebody's grass up. And uh, for those of you up up north where you have cool season grasses with your bluegrass and your uh, fescues and different things like that, you know, I'm, I don't know. I've never I've never fooled with any of that, but I would imagine that you don't have to worry about it as much down here with your Bermudas and zoysias and uh, centipedes and St. Augustines where we keep it between inch and a half two and a half inches you know the grass is a lot shorter and you can see those uh you can see those marks where you tear the uh grass up out of the ground when you're turning so uh she's just she's not wanting to be held responsible for uh tearing up somebody's grass and i understand that i was the same way when i was learning i was terrified i was going to leave uh turn marks on somebody's property so but it's getting to a point where if she's gonna mow, she ain't gonna have no choice or she's gonna be running a string trimmer if she ever rides with me. But uh, I would rather her be on a lawnmower and let me run the uh, string trimmer. I mean, that's just me being a man, you know. But uh, hey y'all, told y'all I was gonna pull the trigger. We did it, now. I'm in the market for a uh, 14 foot by seven trailer, or seven by 14 open trailer. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna do some shopping around. I'm hoping within the next month or two I can get one, man, because uh, it's all I can do to get this thing on that trailer. And uh, I have to turn it sideways at the back of the trailer, and get it on there. And uh, it's, it's a chore, man. It's uh it you can tell it's on that trailer and uh that trailer is struggling right now it's uh i'm worried to death that i'm gonna bend the axle on that thing and uh i'm worried that i'm gonna go through a board on there too i need to change the board out the boards out it's about that time but uh not only that man i just need something wider and something longer because uh, i'm having to put my push motor in the back of my truck and that's With the way my trailer is, I can't let my tailgate down with my trailer hooked up. So, uh, 
I'm having to pick that push mower up over the side of the truck and that's a job. <laughs> but uh, having to put gas cans in the back of the truck, trash cans, you name it. And uh, I just need more, need more space, man. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta have a bigger trailer. And uh, tomorrow I've got quite a few yards that's gotta be bagged. So uh, I've gotta have somewhere to put those clippings. But it is what it is, man. I knew this before I bought this uh, mower that I was going to be scrapping for space for a little while, but uh, we're going to push through, man. We're going we're gonna to do it. And uh, we're going to see what we can find. I'd prefer to get new. I I really don't want to buy any more used equipment past that point. There's nothing wrong with buying used equipment, but uh, I'm at a point now where it's just, uh, for me, it's worth it to buy new stuff. That way I ain't got to deal with any any possible issues that somebody else is tired of dealing with. But uh, if it means I got to spend $1,000 extra, you know, so be it. But, hey, I'm going to hop off here, guys. I hope y'all had a good week. And uh, for those of y'all that are going out and getting started tomorrow or started up today, man, I hope y'all have a good weekend. I hope y'all get out there and kill it. And uh, look here, man, make enough time to get to church Sunday. But, uh, in the meantime, I'm going to hop off here, go get me some rest. Probably get me a cup of coffee before I go to bed, believe it or not. I'm in the mood for some coffee. But, uh, drink me a cup of coffee, get me a good shower, get in the bed. And I'll wake up early in the morning, get back at it. I don't know when I'll get back on here, guys. Hopefully it'll be soon. But, uh, like I always say, man, until the next one, y'all keep cutting that grass and keep making that money. I'll let y'all. Bye.